to share with you some ideas about how to have a really great schedule for your reception so that you've got a good vibe going and everyone's happy and things flow smoothly. Now there's things probably in every reception that you need to get through and that will be things like speeches, the cutting of the cake, the first dance, those kinds of things that you need to be able to schedule into your night without having them cut into everything into the great vibe that you're creating. So the first thing I want to suggest is that you group things together. Now to give you an idea of groupings I'm going to run through quickly a schedule with you. So for the first part of the evening the first thing that happens is the bridal party and the couple are introduced into the room and sometimes at that point we have a cut, cutting of the cake. Now whether you have it then or later in the evening will depend on how long you've hired your photographer for. So if your photographer is about to leave you can cut the cake then or you can wait till a little bit later on in the evening if your photographer is staying and do it later on. So move to entree first, time of socialising afterwards, main course. Immediately after main course while you've got everybody seated and relaxed then go into your speeches your cutting of the cake if you're going to do it later on and a bridal waltz. After the bridal waltz bring everybody up onto the dance floor to dance. You'll have a great dance bracket then probably at least an hour before dessert. Once everybody sits for dessert nice social time again you can start the next dance bracket with the father daughter dance or the mother son dance if you're having one of those and then you've got a really good nice flow for the rest of the evening until you come to the the finale bit. Now with that we'd group together the Bokatos, the um, Gata and the final circle if you're having all of these things okay so group those together at the end of the night. Now the reason that we don't sort of pull those up earlier in the night is because you're just cutting far too much into a good flow that you've already got going. Every time your MC has to get up there and get people's attention you're cutting into flow and we don't want to do that. So when you're scheduling look at grouping and the second thing you look at is immovables. You've got to work around the immovables. Now for most venues the immovables will be the scheduling of the meals. So once you know from the kitchen or you've worked with the kitchen previously to schedule those meals then slot everything in around it and don't jam pack the evening. Once you get through all of the things you have to that's more than enough. You don't really need to bring in people doing solos and all of that stuff. You can if you want to and once again if you're going to do that join it to another chunk you've got but don't jam pack it. Let there be time for you to enjoy your guests, for your guests to enjoy you so that you can relax and have a fabulous wedding reception.